Hello builders. Today we're looking at townhome construction. The biggest difference between a townhome and an apartment is that townhomes get a real fire barrier, not just sheathing. This barrier is built into the structure, running all the way from the concrete to the top of the roof, which means, yep, it's the framer's job to install it. Fun. The fire barrier comes in a few different varieties, like shaft liner, or the one we're using today called light core. Turns out it's not very light. To start, we've preset clips onto the stud wall with a level brace in the middle. These clips are important because they're the only thing keeping this heavy light core from falling one way or the other, and they also make sure it stays the same distance from the wall on both sides. The clips also have to be set in a very specific pattern to meet fire code. In our case, they're installed eight inches up and eight inches down, alternating on each stud in relation to the light core sheet with one clip left out at the end of the sheet. Once you have the clips preset, the fun really begins. Now the framers get to be masons. To make sure there's no air gap between the light core and the concrete, we use grout made specifically for this purpose. The grout gets applied to the concrete before we set the first sheet. To make it a proper fire barrier, the light core needs to be held off from the exterior walls and the roof. Fireproof wool goes in between the light core and any part of the building that's exterior. This lets the building move a little independently of the light core, which is important because it's very brittle and could break otherwise. Setting the light core after that is pretty straightforward. You have two people positioning the sheet while another is on the side of the wall with the preset clips ready to screw it in. To make sure there are no air gaps between the sheets, it's necessary to grout the seams as well as the top. When cutting light core, we use masonry blades on our normal saws and wear N95 masks. You definitely don't want to breathe that dust in. From here, the installation is the same all the way up to the roof. Make sure to alternate which side gets the cut piece of light core so the seams don't line up. You just keep repeating that pattern as you go up the wall. Once you reach the roof, things get a little more interesting. The light core needs to stop about 3 eighths of an inch below the roof sheathing so the fire wool can fit in. That also means the sheets have to be cut at angles to get them as tight as possible, while still leaving the space for the fireproof wool. Armed with this knowledge, you're ready to start installing some light core. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.